this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is a video to compare the Audio Technica AT2035 with the Shure SM7B. These are two XLR microphones with a slightly different setup. The Shure SM7B is a dynamic XLR microphone, and my mainstay, a fantastic capture quality, really great sound, good build quality, and an all-round great package. It is expensive, but you do get a really premium sound out of this. This is my main microphone that I use for the majority of my voiceovers and recordings, as well as for streaming purposes, and I use it with a Go XLR. I started off with a Go XLR Mini and upgraded to a full-size Go XLR, but you can use something else like a Rode Podcaster setup or even the Wave XLR from Elgato. It's a simple sort of microphone with no real controls apart from bass roll-off switches on the underside, but it's really great sounding. The Audio-Technica AT2035 is a condenser microphone with a cardioid pickup pattern and a really solid build quality. This also has some decibel padding and a roll-off cutoff switch on it but is otherwise fairly understated it is probably the better looking of the two microphones but what you will notice is the audio technica microphone doesn't come with a windshield or pop filter but what it does come with is a shock mount that you'll see in a moment both of these are xlr mics as i said so you need an xlr cable and you need an xlr preamp set up with an interface on it to get the best quality sound out of these. Now I'm using the Audio Technica microphone to record the voiceover for this video, but later on in the video I'll show you a comparison with the two mics running through a GoXLR to give you the sound comparison. The Audio Technica microphone also has this really nice shock mount included in the box as part of the package. So when you purchase this microphone, for a lot cheaper price than you get for the Shure SM7B, you're getting the shock mount, the mic, and a little carry case as well. You're still getting a really great mic. The only downside of which that I can see is the plosives that it picks up when you're talking. Unfortunately, it picks up quite a lot of plosives because it doesn't have a pop filter and it doesn't have a windshield as standard. You can obviously purchase those as aftermarket additions to the microphone, but it does still have a really good build quality to it. It's a really solid microphone and a really good heft and weight to it. And it's also really affordable and delivers a fantastic quality. Both mics are obviously mountable on a boom arm. You could see at the beginning of this video that I had the short SM7B mounted on the blue compass. This microphone, the Audio Technica, is here mounted on Elgato Wave mic arm, and that's really straightforward and simple addition. It's worth bearing in mind that both mics are quite heavy. The Audio Technica is especially weighty, and so buying a cheap mic arm might result in problems with that, but otherwise they are great mics. And here I am with the microphone. You can see it's right next to me. It's a very short distance at the moment, and this is using the Go XLR setting, so you can see what the capture quality is like. And if you talk directly into it, it is a much better quality. It's really rich in that way. But what it does do is it picks up a lot of the plosives sounds, which is obviously not ideal, not what you want from the mic. And that is, there's no pop filter and there's no windshield in there. Obviously the additions of those would improve things. Now what I'm going to do is just type in the background. The bonus of this is because it's cardioid pickup pattern, it's basically picking up from this direction, so towards the mic from behind me. Uh, anything from this side, sound-wise, shouldn't get picked up as much. So if I'm typing on a keyboard, I'm using Gateron red switches on the Keychron K1, I've done a video on recently, and hopefully you won't hear much of this noise if any. Obviously, I have done some work at the GoXLR in terms of the noise cancellation settings there, which will help with this, but it is going to be reduced thanks to that cardioid pickup pattern, the close pickup nature of it, and you can tweak the gain levels if you are having problems with it. Really impressed with the sound of this microphone. It's very rich, and to demonstrate the difference, I'm going to in a second, show you what the Shure SM7B is like by comparison. And this mic is four times the money near enough, or maybe three times, depending on where you are. So it's a lot more expensive. It's also my mainstay and highly respected by a lot of people in the industry. But I want to show you just the capture quality. So I'm not going to change any settings in the GoXLR interface apart from the switch to dynamic microphone. I'm just going to switch these over 
you can hear the quality difference. And now you should be able to hear the difference of the Shaw SM7B. And again, a really rich sounding microphone. This one does a great job of blocking out external noise again if I'm just typing in the background. But the thing that I like about this is obviously also plosives. Plosives aren't picked up quite as badly by this microphone. And it's got a good windshield on it. It's actually even thicker one included in the box. And also once you've adjusted the settings, it's just really natural sounding. You do have to get it very close to your mouth in order to make it sound good and to make the most of it. And perhaps it's not as nice looking as the Audio Technica, but it does deliver really good quality. But what I wanted to show you is the difference between them. This one has a richer sound to it in terms of more bass, and it makes my voice sound really rich. But the Audio Technica also does a good job of sounding really fantastic. This has been the Provoke Prawn. Hope you found this video useful, interesting, hilarious, or otherwise. Take a look at these other videos that I think you might find interesting as well. And have a look at the description for links and other information you might find useful. Click that join button to see the benefits of being a member of my YouTube channel. And most importantly, have a great life.